the politics of the Okambani region have changed. You know, for 36 years, the Okambani region has been under the so-called leadership of Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Mosioka. And I respect him very much, and he should be respected. But truth be told, in the 36 years under the leadership of Stephen Kalonzo Mosioka, the Okambani region has become poorer because he is not a man whose politics or whose ways of life leading towards development. Our people are crying out for jobs, our people want water, our people want roads, our people want development. But Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka, for those 36 years, he has been concentrating on amassing power for himself and taking care of his immediate family and people who are close to him, but not the general people. Because he's used the old principle that as long as people remain poor and ignorant, they'll still think that he is the master and is the one who will be the savior. But times have changed. If you look at the Ngu Ward uh, election that just happened the other day, Gu Musimba elections, 76% of the people rejected Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka and rejected Waipa, and they say they want to be liberated and they want change. So this is a time for change. Everything in life has an expiry date. Even medicines have an use by date. The time has expired for Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka, and you cannot purport to continue saying that you are the leader of Ukambani. The times have shifted, and I'm calling upon my fellow leaders, governors, Professor Kivuda Kibwana, Governor Chari Tingilo, the senators, MPs, other leaders, professionals, religious leaders, let us now have the strength and the courage to free our people from this yoke of mind control that they have been yoked to for a long time, being told to remain poor and proud. Remain poor and proud while they suffer. It is time for liberation. Our youth have said enough is enough. And I am ready together with other leaders to liberate our people. And we are telling Stephen Kalonzo Mosioka, do not wait to be humiliated. Please just give way. Let us continue and we respect you and we thank you for your times of service.